All right, 2K fans, Double Rep Weekend is upon us. This is your boy, Juke King, the boss, and I'm just going to go over some tips to increase your, your caps throughout Double XP Weekend, throughout Double Rep Weekend. Now, uh, first thing I would say is inv invest in your skill boost. I've invested in my ball handling and passing skill boost so that way I can throw more accurate, flashy passes. When you hit that overall of 90, you can you have the on-court coach badge, which you can tell shooters to shoot it. And I got Bradley Bill on the team. I got um, Shammy on the team. And with the both of them, I can literally force them to shoot almost anything. And they'll knock down most things. I'm uh, playing this game right here on six-minute quarters. It took me about 22 to 23 minutes to uh, get to the third quarter, get through, partway through the third quarter. Um, and then I sim to the end. Now, when I sim to the end, uh, I ended the game, I started with 16.3% of my progress, but I earned a lot of good rep. I earned a lot of good uh, points toward my uh, toward my rep bar. So uh, one thing I will say is, is that for those who think that the rep, the double rep is broken, it's actually not. It's not showing you double rep as in showing you, oh, your points are 13,000, so we're going we're gonna to multiply by two. What it does show you is it shows you that progress bar goes up twice as fast um, when it calculates your points. Uh, the park. Now, the park isn't the best place to go and earn double rep because the park, you literally need to be able to finish out about 20 games to really see some some good progress. Don't get me wrong. You still earn it better than you was at park before. But when it comes down to maximizing your output, you kind of want to put yourself in a position where you can be involved in most of the plays and most of the games. Now, as you can see, I'm in the park and I'm going through getting us trying to get assists, trying to get flashy pass in the park because the game modes where you play against other players, all of those um, stats are worth more points. Um, and so essentially what you want to do is you want to be able to kick flashy passes like that, that behind the back that led to a bucket. And flashy passes uh, give you twice, I won't say twice as much rep. Flashy passes give you 800 rep, 600 rep per flashy pass. Then plus you get another like 200 or 150, depending on the game mode you're playing in, uh, for the assist itself. So essentially you're earning more rep for that one, for that one move. Okay, so like you see the flashy assist, I essentially got 600 per per flashy assist, and I got about 110, 130 for each assist. So you double all that up, and it's some good little stats. Um, I found that playing in my career earns you the most because, as we all know, you control more of the game in my career. Um, but if you're going to go the Pro-Am route, now Pro-Am walk-on isn't the best route to go unless you're running with a, a full five or at least um, four of the five players as you and your boys or your squad. Um, but if you're running team Pro-Am, you're going to see yourself get some good, some good progression. We ran about five, I think about five games tonight, last night, and we earned some good rep for that. Uh, and we wanted to keep it going, but then next thing you know, some of my people started getting booted from the game left and right. So it was just more along the lines of like, all right, that's the game telling us we need to chill because we can really start taking L's. So in the park, you're not going to earn that much, but in Pro-Am, Team Pro-Am, you're going to earn some good some good progress, and it's going to double that up towards your, uh, towards your increase. Now, I started when I started Team Pro-Am last night, I was at about 11.3. Then I saw myself go up to... Uh, uh, what 12.6 and then I saw myself going up to 13.5 and, and this that and the other so I was seeing good progression in in team pro-am and pro-am walk on I think I went up maybe a point and um, and I was like oh no nah, I can't do this because essentially per 10,000 I'm gonna earn uh one percent and so because we were playing with people who didn't want to kind of like get everybody involved and we were playing against people that was it was literally just one person and five computer and four computers. Uh, so instead of us getting involved as a team and playing as a team, I finished with low numbers. So I didn't get as much progression as I would like to have gotten in it. Uh, my progression didn't go up, but so far. And so you see, I start with 18.9 and I finished with 19.7. And so that's literally point point eight percent. And that's like that's less than a percent for a game that took 30 minutes. Now, 
I can get 1.6% playing my career on 12-minute quarters. Now, in this team pro-am game, at the end of that game, as you can see, I finished with 10 points or 18 points, whichever one that's it. I finished with double-digit points. Um, I got a lot of good a lot of good progression because I was involved in so many different plays. I did so many different moves. I did so many different things and everything basically doubled at the end of it all. So as you see, I went from 11.3 to 12.6 because we st- we was playing Team Pro-Am earlier and I played the walk-on Pro-Am by myself this morning. Now, in this regular game right here, I was playing 12-minute quarters. It took me about 25 minutes to complete the game because I, I went through to the third Got up to uh, got I went up by 11 and then I sim to end and I was hitting perimeter shots. I was getting tireless. I got me a tireless bucket. Went to the line. I got me a double digit assist. Um, I got me some flashy assists and I finished with 18,000, almost 19,000 uh um, rep. And that 19,000 literally put me at uh at literally 21.3. So you get the most progression playing on 12 minute quarters. And if you can run through them quicker, then you can get your progression even better, even quicker. And you'll see yourself leveling up before the day is over. You know, I hope this video helped you guys. Uh, if it did, leave a like, share with somebody who you think might benefit from it. Get, let's get this rep up. Let's all try to get that at 99. I'll catch you guys on the next one. I'm out.